Question number 16. To solve these problems, we have to graph, uh, or we have to solve the inequality and then graph the solution. It does solve just like an equation, where you just start by doing the opposite, plus 7 on both sides. You get 6x is less than or equal to 17 plus 7, which is 24. Then you're going to divide both sides by 6. That gives you x is less than or equal to 4. Now, to actually graph this, you really only need to have a 4. But if you'd like to fill in the rest of the numbers, feel free. You only need a 4, though. To finish this graph, here's what you do. Because it's less than or equal to, I want you to put a solid dot at 4. And then, because it's less than, it's going to go towards the smaller numbers. Second problem. Start the same way. The opposite of plus 9 is 2 minus 9. So you subtract 9 from both sides. That gives you negative 2x is greater than 2. Next, you're going to divide both sides by negative 2. I need to warn you, dividing by negative 2 will, dis will make something happen different in your answer. Now your final answer is x is not greater than. x is now less than negative 1. Because when you multiply or divide by a negative number, your inequality will now switch directions. So you need a negative 1 on your graph. If you'd like to fill in the rest of the information, you may. This is now an open dot, because when we say it's just less than negative 1, you don't have to include negative 1 in your answer. Last example. Your last example. Uh, is very similar except for there are x's on both sides. I'd recommend subtracting x because that's the smaller number of x's. Now you have negative 6 is less than x plus 5. To solve for x, you're going to subtract 5 from both sides. You now have negative 11 is less than x. I would recommend writing this from the perspective of the x. In other words, reading it backwards. So instead of thinking of it as negative 11 is less than x, I would actually write it as x is greater than negative 11. And again, I just read the problem backwards. So I put a negative 11 on my number line. I again have an open dot because it doesn't include negative 11. Because this says greater than, I go towards the larger numbers. And that's my graph.